Good morning, Bessie Creek Elementary. I'm Jackie. You can call me the River Lady. And I'm here today to talk to you about the River Kids and to see if you would be happy about helping us save our river. First, let me tell you a little bit about the River Kids. The River Kids was started by kids, by two fifth grade girls who started a lemonade stand and they decided to give their money to the Rivers Coalition to help save the St. Lucie River and the Indian River Lagoon. They made up their own mission statement. A mission statement is a statement that tells people what your purpose is, what you're all about. And I'm hoping that you'll take on this mission statement too. Let me read it to you. River Kids, our mission is to speak out get involved, and raise awareness because we believe that kids should have a voice in the future of our rivers. The rivers are for everyone. And unfortunately, our rivers need help. If you'll take a look at this picture, you can see what, looked like, what it looked like last summer, which was called the, la the Lost Summer because many kids were not allowed to go in the water last summer because it was not safe. You can see this big dark wave coming down the coast of our beaches off of the St. Lucie Inlet. That is tons of water coming from our local canals and Lake Okeechobee in the middle of the state. When it rains too much, they release that water into our St. Lucie River and it's too much and it's too dirty. It picks up a lot of dirt along the way. It picks up fertilizers and septic tank pollution, stuff from people's cars and all sorts of stuff ends up in the water and it's too much. And that fresh water is not good either because an estuary is, is brackish. It's made of salt and fresh water. If you look over here, this is a sign that one of the river kids made and it shows uh, dirty water and clean water and the title says dirty water kills and that's a sad title but it does kill some of the fish and the manatees and the dolphins and animals that that need to live in the river because they need that balance of salt water and fresh water and when too much fresh water comes in they can't take it and then all the pollution on top of it, it's not good. When all of the runoff stops, the river does recover. But it's just like a person. If you get sick too much, it's hard to recover completely. So the river kids are working on stopping the pollution and stopping too much fresh water so that in the future, our estuary is safe and beautiful and swimmable and fishable for everyone. Let me show you a picture. This is a picture from the River Kids workbook. And it shows some of the dirty water coming in from the canals. And if you look in the left-hand corner, you can see the River Kids. And the River Kids are there doing the best they can to make the river clean. And you can do this in many different ways. You can do this by uh, you know, helping put oysters in the river. You can do this by planting mangroves. You can do this by speaking in public. And you can do this by writing letters to your congressmen and local representatives. You can do this by drawing pictures and sending it to people in the community to help let them know how much you love your river. You can do this through beach cleanups. And you can do this through having your parents check their septic tanks and not fertilizing too much during the rainy season, during the summer. And you can do this by wearing your shirt June 4th to support the River Kids. Miss Jackie, the River Lady, wants to thank you, 
all kids are river kids. You're a river kid because the river is yours. The river belongs to the future. Help us save our rivers.